This is how we gain body fat over time without losing it. You see, a lot of people think if you have one bad day, that's how you're gaining weight and then you can't get rid of it. But to give you an example, you would have to eat all of this food, which is five Cadbury dairy milk chocolate bars, a whole bag of Sour Patch Kids, this entire crunchy Easter egg bunny, and this Whopper burger on top of what you normally eat in a day to gain about half a kilogram of body fat. To put that into perspective, this right here is 3,572 calories for all of that food. Now, unless you are having insanely big binges, this is not generally how it happens. Well, this is usually how it actually happens. So some days and some weeks, you do shit like this on top of your normal daily eating. For example, on Monday, you take a nice chicken salad to work with you, but then you go and add two tablespoons of kupi mayo on top, which is an extra 214 calories. And then say on Tuesday, you add a couple of these health bars on top that you bought for the kids, two of them combined, 400 calories. And then the next day, or even just throughout the week, you smash down a few extra protein brownies because you're thinking they're pretty healthy, they can't be bad for you. They're protein brownies, right? So they don't count when it comes to calories. Well, actually, just two of them, even throughout the whole week, 586 calories right there. And then the next day, Thursday night, or whatever day it is, you have a couple of these scotch fingers with with your coffee, which by the way, if you've ever dipped these in coffee, they are insanely good. Three of them wouldn't even touch the sides, 261 calories, and to be honest, you probably still wouldn't be satisfied. And then on Friday, maybe it's Friday wine night, you grab a bottle of rose, down the hatch it goes, 200, sorry, 625 calories for that bottle right there, or maybe even you spread it out throughout the week. Still 625 calories that week. And then on the weekend, you get a little bit more relaxed, so when you go to get your morning coffee, you go, screw it, I'ma treat myself. Double choc chip muffin, 677 calories for this choc chip muffin. Sorry, double choc muffin from Macca's. That is outrageous. Although delicious, not worth it. And then on Sunday, screw it. It's getting close to Easter. I'm gonna smash my bunny now. So you smash down this delicious Easter egg bunny. Maybe even you just spread it across the week. You're still gonna add an extra 885 calories to that week. So all of that right there, like I said, whether you did that across the days, across the weeks, or hell, even across a couple of weeks, it's gonna add an extra 300, 300, 3,648 calories on top of your normal eating. Now we know it takes about 3,500 calories extra to gain about half a kilo of body fat, which to be honest, is probably gonna be closer to a whole kilo on the actual scale because of glycogen and water stored in the muscle, extra food in your stomach, etc. So this, as you can see, is how it happens. Like I said, it's not usually in the one day or especially not in the one meal, it's over time. Now I know what you're thinking. And no, this does not mean that you cannot include these things in your diet because you absolutely can. It does not mean that any of this food is bad or good. It's all about moderation and it's all about your numbers and your calories and energy in versus energy out. So let's say you did want to smash a bottle of wine on the weekend, which obviously alcohol, not ideal, but whatever. You smash a bottle of wine on the weekend, obviously that's going to add an extra 625 calories. Now, I know what you're thinking, and all you would simply have to do is try your best to remove these calories from somewhere else, and you probably wouldn't be able to do all that in the same day, and that's not ideal to remove food and replace with alcohol. But let's say you did that, then over the next two or three days, you could simply pull 200 to 300 calories from other parts of your day to kind of balance out what you had the other night. So it's more about over your days, weeks, and even months of your energy balance. Are you continually consuming more calories than you're burning? on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, because if you are, this is how that weight creeps up over time. And like I'm sure you know, it's not just in a day. You don't just wake up and you're like, oh shit, I'm five kilos heavier. It's one month, two months, three months down the track, you jump on scale, oh shit, I've gained five kilos. It's from these little things right here, not from those massive blowouts that we we're talking about. The next simple example, we're gonna to touch on sauces and condiments. So let's say you're on the go, grab yourself a nice, healthy chicken salad on the run. Honestly, great option, this right here, is about 300 calories and over 30 grams of protein. So this is a great on the go option or just a very nice, quick and simple thing you can throw together at home and it will be a very, very good, healthy meal for weight loss. But then you go ahead and you slap some garlic aioli on top, which one serve is 185 calories. And let's be real, no one's just gonna put one serve on. So if you went ahead and slapped 
two servings of that on your chicken salad, which is absolutely delicious, but it's 370 calories. So the garlic aioli has more calories than the whole meal. That's absolutely outrageous. So you forget your breakfast one day, on the way to work, you think, I'm just gonna go through the drive-thru. I'm gonna grab a bacon egg McMuffin. Honestly, not too bad. These only have 290 calories and they are delicious. But then you think, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself. I wanna get a little buzz on, so you get yourself a mocha. This medium mocha has 309 calories, literally more calories than the food itself. And if you were to get a large, it has 401 calories. And like I've been saying, sometimes it's the extras, the sides, the sauces, the condiments that actually do the most damage to your weight loss goals and are worse off than the actual meal. Now, whether we want to believe it or not, it just comes down to our energy balance over the days, weeks, and months. Now, all that simply means is if you want to stay the exact same weight, you just need to eat your maintenance calories, meaning you won't gain and you won't lose. Now, if you want to lose weight, then you need to be eating less calories than you burn on a daily basis. And of course, if you want to gain weight, you need to eat more calories than you burn on a daily basis. Now, the whole point of this video and the reason I always make this content is because I really want to help people kind of see where all these extra calories are coming from and the actual reason why we gain weight. Because like I said, a lot of people have the mindset is of if you do go on holiday and you have a bad meal, or even have a day where you eat whatever the fuck you want, that's not the reason why you're gaining four or five kilos. It's slowly over the weeks and over the months. And I don't want you to think that you cannot have stuff like this in your diet because I actually think it is a great idea to have a more balanced approach, meaning 90% of your calories coming through nutrient dense food sources, fruits, veggies, lean meats, all that kind of stuff that's very, very obvious and we know we should be doing, but then leaving 10 or maybe even 20% to come through foods we love, which could be chocolate, could be ice cream, could be literally whatever you want. In my personal opinion, that's the best way to maintain a healthy diet and also a healthy relationship with food and not fall into this crazy restrict and binge mentality or this all or nothing mentality. And if you have no idea how many calories you should be eating on a daily basis for your goals, I have a macro calculator. It's 100% free. I'll pop it in the description. And if you like this video, I think you'll like this one as well.